What's up guys? Well, we're back on the hardwoods plot. It's a little windy, but it's a beautiful morning. Hawk's with me today. We're gonna see what we see. Oh, they should start waking up here. I mean, we've been set up since about 5.30. It's 5.48 right now. Last time first gobble was at 6.06, so. We'll see. Hopefully the toms show up and take these hens from these jakes, but I do know my cell cam sent me a picture of the three jakes in here uh, last night at about 7 o'clock, so might see the little, the little gang of jakes again, but... Well, we got one bird. We got one in front of us. There's a couple goblin behind us. It's kind of what we expected this morning. Now I haven't laid eyes on a tom yet. I've seen him on my time lapse cam. This bird up here, I think it's the Jake. But he's got, he sounds like a tom. He's got me and Hawk confused. Well, Woods is waking up. Stay tuned. Okay, so flew down first like usual at 620 then the Jakes our Toms flew down just now they flew right to them we saw them land 623 and we got a couple more birds geese just flew over There's a couple more Toms to our right don't know if they fall down or not but I assume that they have that was to our right mm -hmm. oh there he goes there he goes see him he just lands right in front of us. I think that's the last of the three that were in front of us. And now we got a Tom hammering to our right. Should be a good one. Hopefully we get to see the Toms take these hands because the Jakes flew down with the hands. So stay tuned. This could be fun.
Alright guys, so that was uh, pretty intense. We had, uh, what was it, six hens come down and then I the birds gobbling in front of us, they were jakes, which I kind of figured it was that one cocky jake and they came down, put on a nice strut show, then they got frustrated, the hens saw him, heard the bird gobbling over there and they ran to him. <laughs> so the jakes kind of worked their way over trying to pull them back but then we had two more birds two hens come up from in front of us and kind of got them gobbling again got those hens fired back up and there was a tom to our front right somewhere he was hammering when geese flew over but he never showed up but we're gonna slip out of here because once again we're just scouting we're not calling we're just chilling and we don't want to sit here and because we know they come back. This is kind of their normal routine, but eventually these hens, when they come back to roost, they're gonna pull toms over here. And when they do, these hens are gonna come to this food plot. They like picking bugs in it. I can't stress it enough. If you got hardwoods, you got one little natural strut zone, just rake it out, put some rack algae, plot 365 in there and some ryegrass, and your hens will find it, and when they do, well, I mean, you've seen it. They come in and pick it, and they pick the bugs out. They like it. It's just a natural zone for them to come. And if they had toms and it was opening day, <clears throat> we'd be filming an outro with two fans. So it's an effective method. But we're going to slip out of here. We're going to leave the blind. And uh, probably next time we're in this blind, it'll be go time. We'll be, <clears throat> I think, It'll be Hawk and I for opening day, so. But we're gonna slip out of here. We're gonna go do some driving, check some fields, and try to find more turkeys, so. This is Jake Sleesman. This is Derek Young. Blue color outdoors. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll catch you on the next one. Hopefully we'll film some pattern tests today, but we shall see. We'll catch you on the next one.